In this lesson, we're going to cover how to create a slice view inside of a drawing. The file that I have open is called breakoutview.idw, and it can be found in your Chapter 5 Exercise folder. Before creating a slice view, I want to do a quick review of how to create a section view. In this case, I'm taking a file that's based off of an assembly, so I'm just going to select in that view. And I'm just going to create a single line, right click, continue. And then you'll see that the section view is going to be placed. And then I have the crosshatch pattern represented of that line that's going back through there. I can modify how that cross section is actually going to be taking place by edit the section properties. In this case, it's sectioning through all of the parts for all of the distances here. In this case, I can change it to a distance value. So if I change that, you can see that the distance here is being modified on the screen. So if I keep that at five millimeters, now the crosshatch is only going to be showing all of the parts that it would intersect within that five millimeters. So the other part that we can do, if I slide back over here to the breakout and expand the assembly itself, you can designate which components are going to be sectioned or not. So that's pretty helpful to do, but I just want to do a quick review of how the, the section view is. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And now I want to place in a slice view, but before placing in a slice view, we're going to create a sketch. So I'm just going to move my cursor over the bounding edges of that view, click on sketch, and then I'm going to place in two lines. And these lines are going to represent where I want those cross sections to take place. Now at this point, I'm going to place in a couple dimensions between them, let's say 35. What I'd also like to do is dimension how far the left vertical line is going to be. In this case, you see that I cannot select it. So what I need to do is click on the project geometry tool, select the edge that I want to project right click and, and click done and then let's go back and apply our general dimension from that point to that line and let's put it at this case at 45 millimeters so click return to get out of the sketch and now we can create our slice view but that's not necessarily true because if i go back and click on slice it's asking me for a view to slice so this is the major difference between this and the cross-section view at this point. So first of all, I'm going to project off of a view, off of our base view here. So that's the first difference here. So now if I go back and click on Slice, I'm going to pick a point in the view to slice, my right side view. Now it's asking me to select the sketch geometry. I'm going to select one of the lines. In this case, both lines were selected. They're part of the same sketch and I want to slice through all parts, so I'll click on that option. And now what we can see here is I have the cross section represented of both of those lines that were represented in the sketch. Again, if I go back to the browser, you'll notice I have the option called Slice. If I double click on the sketch, you can go back and you can modify the uh, location of those sketch lines. So if I change that back to, let's say, uh, 32 to return. You can see absolutely what's happening with those cross section lines. So think of these as zero depth cross sections. And just like we were able to do in the section, I can expand that assembly and right click section properties or section participation and select which one do I want to do. In this case, I'm going to click none. With the participation set to none, you'll notice that nothing happened. And the reason that nothing happened, from my slice, if I go back and edit the slice view, you'll notice that it says slice all parts. So that's exactly what it's doing. So that's an override, if you will. In this case, we'll go ahead and click OK. And you notice now I'm not getting any slice done because it's basically told to do none. So now what I can do is I can add participants to this. So let's go back and add that to a slice. And I'll just grab another one as well. 
and that's how you do the slice tool.